All right, guys, welcome to my YouTube video. I am Marcus Tech, and today I want to show you how to underbolt and overclock your RTX 5090 by using the MSI Afterburner software, which is, in my personal opinion, the most famous and most friendly user GPU tweaking software. But of course, you can use other kind of similar software, like for example, GPU tweak, if you want. But for today, we will use this one because I prefer it. So before starting, I just want to tell you what is my experience with the RTX 5090, since I have it since more than two weeks. And I have the Gigabyte Hours Master model, which is the most powerful model together with the Astral from Asus. And I haven't had any issue at all with it. I haven't had any driver issue. Um, black screens, melting cables, or missing ROPs, for example, I have all of them, as you can see here, okay, uh, or instability in general, but I know that some people are facing the, this kind of issue. So, in my personal opinion, the most um, important factor of this GPU is the power consumption because 600 watts that um, are going through a single 12, 12 volt power cable isn't very good in my opinion that's why today i want to show you how to undervolt it because with the undervolt plus overclock this gpu will consume the same uh, watts of a 4090 but man while maintaining the same plus 35 percent more performance uh, as it was as a stock a stock model so it's a win-win right so first of all you have to download the ms afterburner software and i will uh, share the link in the description of this video and i would suggest you to download the beta version of it because it has more features and it's more updated so once you have downloaded it and you have installed it you can open it and you will see a windows like this this is the msi uh, default skin uh, if i'm not mistaken but if you want you can ch you can change it by going to settings and then user interface which is the last tab uh, on top right corner then you can select the skin over here and for example mine is msi mystic afterburner skin okay i use it because i think it's the clearest one among them and very neat um, once you have done it okay you just have to go to curve editor okay this is the editor for the tension so, so if you want to change the the voltage of your GPU and today we want to aim for 900 millivolts so basically you have to check 900 millivolts and select the point which is right uh, at the top of this value then you have to click and press sh the left shift button and drag this point up to 2,900 megahertz so you can also adjust the value by using the arrows up and down and once you have re reached this point you can uh, select with left shift and uh, the left mouse button all the values from the point we have selected to the right okay you have to to drag and drop once you've done it while keeping pressing uh, the left shift uh, button you have to press the enter button twice like this and if it doesn't work because sometimes it doesn't work like in this occasion you have to move the values and try again to reset this one 
because it's bugged this this feature unfortunately of this software is a bit buggy so let's try okay and as you can see the second time it worked so basically uh, once you have reached this point you will see like a curve and then a flat line which means that once you have reached 2900 megahertz of frequency doing for example a gaming um, experience the voltage will remain 900 so basically you won't surpass this kind of voltage and as you can as you know the ohm law says that the ampere um, multiplied uh, by the, the tension gives you the watts so if you if we can maintain the same tension even at higher um, uh, core clocks then the out the voltage output will remain lower okay so basically we will consume less watts but with the same performance as we are using the this gpu in stock once you've done this you have you can uh, close the window and at this tab with the memory clock we can put it at maximum which is plus 2000 megahertz and then click apply okay you can also save the the profile by clicking this and then one of these numbers so once you have saved it you will have it um, even at when you start the windows uh, and as you can see on the right we have boosted our uh, values so now our bandwidth is more than 2000 gigabytes per second which is insane also the pixel fill rate also the texture fill rate and the boost of either clock and memory speed so here we go guys we are in cyberpunk 2077 and i just want to show you how this undervolt plus overclock performs in this game so we are at 4k with hdr mod on and we are using the lss super resolution with transformer model on quality preset and uh, using ray reconstruction then we are also using uh, multi-frame generation four time and ray tracing and path tracing are completely maxed out the other all the other settings are maxed out too as you can see so we are pretty much at top level but how does this perform on this gpu with this uh, tweak we have just done let's see so basically we can see that we are consuming like 44 45 100 4400 4500 4600 watts uh, so basically like a 4090 but with the performance of a 5090 stock so basically we are consuming less power as with the same performance of a 5090 that's crazy right to me that's a win-win then visually we can see that there aren't any kind of issue or artifacts or anything like visually the quality is really good and the temperature are very good too so basically i would suggest this tutorial this undervolt plus overclock to every uh, 5090 owners out there because it's just a win-win like there aren't any kind of cons of doing that and like it's very easy to do so you don't have to to lose any any time because it's very easy and fast to do so we can also check the nvidia layout for the latency and we can see that the latency at with frame with the multi-frame generation for time is like inexistent like to me it feels like super reactive and it, uh, it doesn't have any problem um 
so all right guys this is this was the video the tutorial to help you to achieve an undervolt plus overclock on the 5090 i hope it helped you to to do that and i would just ask you to to drop a like and leave a comment down below to let me know what kind of video or tutorial or benchmark or gameplay you would like to see on this channel so guys we can see each other in the next video peace